In this video, I'm going to show you how to lower your CPU usage. So by the end of this video, your computer should be running a lot faster. And the very first thing we need to do is just go and open up the start menu, go and search for the word settings and click on this window here. Now in the left hand side, click on apps and then scroll down to start up and click on this. Now this is a list of all of the applications that automatically start up when you first turn on your computer. Now what I'd recommend doing is disabling as many of these applications as you can and you can do that just by toggling them off like so. Now what you'll find is most of these applications can actually be turned off as there's no real purpose for a lot of these just running in the background. Now once you've done this, close out of this window and open up the start menu. Go and search for device manager and click on this window. You can then click on the drop down arrow next to system devices. You then need to go and locate the device called high precision event timer. You can then go and right click on this service and click on disable device and then go and press yes. Now once you've done this, close out of this window. You can then go and open up the start menu, search for edit power plan and click on this option here. Now click on change advanced power settings. You can then go and open up the start menu and search for control panel and click on this window here. In the top right hand side set view by to large icons and then click on power options. Now from this window you'll see all of your different power plans. If you see a high performance mode here then make sure this one is selected. If there isn't a high performance plan then you can just go ahead and select balance like I have on my computer. Now the final step is just to open up the start menu, search for disk cleanup and click on this tool here. You can then go and check the box next to all of these different items and and then go and press OK. You can then press delete files and once you've done this you can then restart your computer and that should have fixed the high CPU usage. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.